Yes. <laughs> I guess maybe along the lines of what's been your experience in terms of how you manage nitrogen in the drip box. Well, you know, that's the nice thing about drip irrigation is is that you can provide nitrogen at a at a steady and pulsed rate that accommodates what the crop uptake and, and use is. So uh, early in the season, a lot of our research early on indicated that the plant at a very early stage doesn't take that much nitrogen up. And so uh, reduced levels early in the season or the fact that we've gotten away from, remember the day when we, we put on a lot of our, in some, in some situations, all of our nitrogen on at pre-irrigation. That, that, we've gotten completely away from that. And now it's uh, sometimes at planting and, and, and a lot of it will go on on a, on a lay-by application uh, or a late, later applications. And that coincides with the, with the fruit development, that coincides with when we're building seed. And, and of course it's that seed, so once we flower, it's that seed that really has a, a, a fairly significant demand for, for carbohydrates and nit nitrogenous materials that'll, that'll move in and, and, uh, and that's, that's where our uptake is. So we're, we're just getting into this stage right now where we're, we're still building a plant. Uh, the plant is relying largely on residual uh, nitrogen and there's plenty of, plenty of uh, nitrogen out in, the, uh, out in the field already uh, that, it's, that it's taking up. But it, 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 as, as we get or as we approach first flower, which is going to still be a, a you know, couple, three weeks away, uh, then we can we we begin to see a fairly high not only uptake because of our because of our more expanded root system and soil volume that we're but we can we can expect uh, uh, the sink now to to uh, play the sink being being the seed in particular the flower is going to be be using a lot of nitrogen so timing our nitrogen with uh, uh, making sure that we time our nitrogen in such a way that we that basically not moving it deep and uh, uh, trying to try to pulse it or, or try to provide enough uh, nitrogen uh, uh, as we as the plant takes it up is a is a good strategy. And drip irrigation, of, of course, is is a is a system where we we in the in the next in the coming weeks we can start thinking about uh, metering out some of that nitrogen uh, as, as we get towards that uh, that bloom period. And then early bloom period would be a, an optimum time to continue to pulse. You know, over a, over perhaps a several week period, our, our uh, nitrogen in the uh, in the field here. So some some people have different strategies. Uh, some of that those strategies are going to are going to mimic what's happening with the with the bowl load. But uh, think think of the plant as really not taking up a lot of uh, nitrogen or, or actually utilizing or compartmentalizing that that nitrogen until we get into uh, early to mid bloom. And then there's still there's a continued sink into late bloom, and that's that's when we start to see our petiole values begin to, to crash. So, so during the during the fruit period, uh, particularly mid bloom, uh, we're going to want to be collecting those petiole nitrate levels, making sure that the the, uh, the they're, they're maintaining, and uh, and that is the opportunity to sort of uh, either either add or back off of some of the nitrogen application. Uh, as we get towards that mid mid uh, uh, mid bloom period, and th and there are you know again uh, you know that's re retention is going to play a role in that. What is what is our yield expectations? That idea that 50 to 60 we need 50 to 60 pounds of, of nitrogen in total uh, per bale of cotton that we produce. That that hasn't that's been one thing that there really hasn't uh, uh, changed is sort of a you know sort of a foundation for nitrogen application. So. Knowing what your residual soil soil levels are, you know that top taking that top two feet of uh, that top two foot sample soil sample to estimate your current nitrate levels will help you you with that benchmark. Are you expecting three or are you expecting four bales? That's the difference between uh, you know 150 or, or 200 pounds of nitrogen used that season, and then how much of it is already out in the field? How much of it can we count on? As we as we move through the season, so uh, did I did I cover that, Bob? I know you, you probably have some other ideas about this. Obviously, you know nitrates are are in the news. Uh, they are an important balance in our systems, particularly you know thinking about sustainable.
cotton production systems. We don't need to be putting on more nitrogen and really pushing the crop more than we actually need. Um, many of the studies that we did early on, you know, basically it was it was hard to find uh, uh, it in most of our soil systems. We didn't we didn't always test the four bale system, but it was hard to find responses to anything uh, above 100 pounds of nitrogen, and that was because the fields that we went into already had a significant soil nitrogen level that was that was that, that accommodated that. We had enough to start the season. To, to carry it through, even even in some of the three, three and a half bale fields that we had. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Dan.